What's up, navigation traders? Happy Friday. Today is Friday, December 1st. Can't believe it is December already, but, uh, and actually let's go ahead and check that out. All the closed trades for November. Had a great month of closing trades, all of which were winners. Uh, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 closed trades, all 13 winners. So continuing to do well from that standpoint. And then let's go ahead and jump into the alerts for the week. If we go back to the first one, which is on 1127, we sold a strangle in EWZ. Uh, IV percentile got up to 85. And so we uh, sold some premium there, put on a strangle. So if we take a look at EWZ, applied volatility is still very high, giving us good opportunity to sell premium. You can see, you can see we're still very centered, so nothing to do at this point in EWZ except for wait. Next trade was a rolling adjusting trade in IBM. So remember on these uh, uncovered positions like strangles and straddles, once we get down to under 21 days to expiration, the gamma or the risk really starts to accelerate. So we want to roll out to the next expiration cycle. In this case, we were in December, so we rolled from December to January. And then we also rolled our, and, and I'm sorry, we kept our strikes the same. So with 150, 160. And so if we take a look at the charts of IBM, excuse me, on the analyze tab, you can see we're short the 150 call and we are short the 160 put. So still very centered right there. We need some more time decay to take place in IBM. I need that to go down to benefit that. So we'll continue to monitor IBM. Next trade was a closing adjusting trade in QQQ. So we closed the put vertical side of that iron condor in the Qs. Uh, price breached our upside break, break even. So we did the mechanical thing, which is to close the untested side. So if we take a look at the Qs, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's go over this one too. We added an, another iron condor in the Qs to take in some more credit. Extend duration, this was in the January cycle. So if we take a look at what we've got on in the queues now, you can see that we've got a couple of different things. We've got three different positions. So this is the new iron condor that we just put on in January. So you can see price is still, still well within our range there. Uh, then we've got a couple of short call verticals still in December. So the 154, 157. See, we need a little bit more down movement in that to benefit that piece. And then we've got the 155, 158, which same thing, need a little bit more down movement there. So we are, uh, we've still got, let's see, in December, we've still got 14 days left to expiration. So we got some more time for that to happen. If we look at the charts, you know, today the news came out that, uh, you know, some more about, uh, the, the administration with, with Donald Trump and Russia during the election. And so we had a, a big move down. Apparently the market didn't really care that much. So it rallied right back up. We've got tax reform going on. And so uh, that looks like it's going to pass. So, so we got a positive uh, kind of rally back up. But, uh, but the implied volatility is staying high, you know, meaning that the market is nervous right now about, um, about things that are going on. So just, uh, you know, it could, could rip higher and implied volatility could collapse. Or if we get a continuation down, then implied volatility will stay nice and high. So we'll continue to manage regardless of what it does. And then in next trade was in a closing adjusting trade in IB, uh, excuse me, IWM. Uh, we had a, an iron condor on there. So we closed our put vertical side. Same kind of thing as QQQ. Uh, the mechanical thing to do is we uh, adjusted by uh, taking off the untested side, which leaves us with uh, this. So we need a little bit of a down move in IWM to get back in our range there. And then in a later alert, which I'll mention here in a minute, we put on another iron condor. Same thing, collect more credit, give ourselves more time to be right. This one we put on in January. So just staying very mechanical with our adjustments. And that was the trade here. So opening, adjusting trades by adding an iron condor in IWM. Next trade was in XOP. We had a strangle on in XOP. 
book that profit for about 50% of max profit, had a nice price move up and a nice contraction in implied volatility in XOP. You can see price popped up, contraction in implied volatility gave us the ability to book that profit. If implied volatility pops back up, we may look to re-enter in XOP, but as of now, we are completely out. Next trade was an opening adjusting trade in wheat forward slash ZW. So we added another iron condor in the February cycle. Uh, and then we, um, uh, it says still holding our December cycle. That actually should say January. So uh, it was a January uh, wheat iron condor that I was trying to get filled on. Hadn't get quite gotten filled yet. Actually got filled today on Friday. And so um, I need to make sure and change that. That should be January. So if we take a look at wheat, so now we've just got the one on in February, which you can see is still very centered, nothing to do there. And the next trade we made was in ES. So same kind of thing. We added an iron condor in the S&P. Uh, implied volatility got up to 70 at that point. And uh, I mentioned that this could be entered as a new trade as, as well. So if you didn't have an ES position on uh, with applied volatility nice and high, it was a good time to enter a new trade if you didn't have one on. So we already went over ES. Uh, I showed you the graph there. And then here is today where we actually um, bought back our January uh, iron condor in wheat. And so we got rid of that one and we added the one uh, yesterday in Feb. So just got the one iron condor and wheat working our way out of that trade nicely back to profit should be able, you know, one or one or two more cycles. Assuming we don't have a major move in wheat, we should be able to work our way back to profit in that from that huge move that we had earlier uh, a few months ago. And then last but not least, we opened a trade in the 10 year note, which is forward slash ZN. So I mentioned as an alternate trade, you could do a short strangle or iron condor and ZN, ZB or TLT. They're all very related. We use TLT, uh, the ETF, to look at the IV percentile. So if we look at ZN, you can see here, we just put this on today. So still very centered, nothing to do. And uh, TLT is the corresponding ETF. So if we look at the chart of that, you can see you got a huge pop up in implied volatility today gave us that opportunity to sell some premium. So let's take a look at some of the other positions. I went over ES, uh, natural gas. We still have an iron condor in nat gas. And you can see it's still just kind of hanging out here. Need a little bit of an up move in nat, uh, nat gas to benefit that piece. We've still got an iron condor in soybeans. So you can see prices hanging out in the upper range. Need a little bit of a down move and some more theta decay and time to pass to benefit that. Adobe. Adobe has come back the last couple days nicely for us. So we've got this iron condor on, uh, which is very centered. So needs some more time to pass to benefit that. And then we've also got this short call spread on from what was an iron condor and price moved nicely back into our range with the, with the down move a couple days ago in Adobe. So we'll continue to monitor that. Whoops, don't need to go there yet. Uh, Baidu, so we've had a nice little down move in Baidu. And we were about at break even on this trade overall, including the adjustments. But I'd like to get back to profit. Still looking for 30 to 40% of max profit in Baidu before we take that off. Uh, you can see implied volatility still nice and high. So if we get a nice contraction, should be able to get out of that one fairly quickly, assuming we stay in a decent price range. Uh, DIA, we still have this short call vertical on. It was previously an iron condor. We will be probably looking to roll this unless we get a big move down in DIA uh, in the next, within the next couple weeks. Don't need to do it right away, but sometime within the next couple weeks before the December expiration, We'll be rolling this out to January uh, to, uh, to continue to keep that on as a short, short bias, short delta in our portfolio. 
EWW, I was actually trying to get filled on this earlier this week to take off at about 30% of max profit. Never quite got there. So probably wait for more like 40% or 50% of max profit on EWW. If we take a look at the charts, see implied volatility popped up on us. Uh, and so we need a little bit more of a contraction, a little bit more time to pass before we book a profit in EWW. EWZ, I already mentioned that. FXI, we haven't adjusted strangle in FXI, and you can see implied volatility has continued to climb in there. So uh, even after we rolled this to January, we had a big pop in implied volatility, so we're, we're down some on this trade, but we'll continue, still, still well within our range. Uh, so nothing to do as far as an adjustment or anything like that, but we'll continue to monitor FXI. IBM, we've got this adjusted strangle, I already went over that one. Uh, IWM, I already went over that. Q's, XOP, oh, XRT, the last one. So we've got this strangle, need a little bit of a down move in XRT and some contraction in implied volatility. This is another one where the implied volatility really popped up on us. And so we will continue to wait in XRT. So I hope that was helpful. Everybody have a great weekend and look forward to trading again next week. Talk to you guys later.